getting started with FlexiServer Remote Employee Management. After downloading FlexiServer, run the installer and follow the prompts to install the application. You will need to be logged in as the administrator on this computer to install FlexiServer. FlexiServer must be installed on a Windows PC. Staff members may install FlexiStation on either Windows PCs or Macs. During installation, you will be asked to allow elevated access to your internet or network connection. This is required in order for staff data to connect to FlexiServer and upload for administrators to view. Click OK to accept the elevated access. When FlexiServer opens for the first time, the Setup Wizard page will open in your default browser or ask you to select a browser. The first step in the Setup Wizard is the creation of your administrator account. You can add more admins later if needed. Enter the email, name, and password of your main administrator. Verify your email settings by checking the email account that you entered in the previous step. If you received a welcome email, click Yes. If you did not receive the welcome email, select No. On the next screen, enter your email SMTP settings. Check your email to confirm that you have received the welcome email after entering your SMTP settings. Depending on your email server, you may need to enable SSL or TLS in FlexiServer for your email address. Click on Options, then go to Email Settings. Select the checkbox next to SSL or TLS. Click OK to close the dialog. Step 3 gives you the option to select the features that you want to use in your company. To deselect any of the features, simply click on the checkbox to remove the check. If all of your employees are working in your office or on the local network, select only in this office at the bottom of the page. If you will have employees at another location or working from home, select some employees will work outside the network. Then click the next button. Now add your employees. You can add more employees when installation is complete. Each employee will receive an email with information on installing FlexiStation for employee workstations on their computer. Click Next. The final step gives you information on in installing FlexiStation and connecting it to FlexiServer. You will want to do this as well as require your staff to do this in order to access the data for your employees. We recommend printing this page or saving it to a folder on your computer. After reviewing the information on this page, click Finish at the bottom of the page. Once you're finished with the installation, FlexiServer will open in your browser. Here, you will see your administrator tools and your personal data. Staff members who log in will only see their personal data in the My Flexi column unless you give them administrator privileges. If you selected some employees who work outside the network, select the Setup Routing for Outside Connections link at the top of the page. We suggest using the default settings. However, if you have a knowledgeable network administrator, you do have the option to edit the address or port. This information needs to be shared with your employees for them to connect to FlexiStation with FlexiServer. It is included in their welcome email. In the event you have users accessing FlexiServer outside of the local network, and if your router supports UPnP or Plug and Play protocol, it will automatically set up your server network. You will need a static IP. However, in the event it does not, you will need to set this up manually. First, you will want to go into FlexiServer and select Options, Web Access. Under Internet, you should see HTTP, followed by a set of numbers. This is your public IP address. 
If you do not see anything here, you want to contact your internet service provider so they may provide it to you. Once you have your IP address, open a web browser and input the IP address number. It should display a login screen, which if your router supports UPnP, you can select it from their menu within the web portal. However, if your router does not support UPnP, once you have obtained your public IP address, go into Flexi Server, Options, Web Access, and select Advanced Routing. Once here, you can manually input your public IP address. You'll notice that at the end of the IP address is column 89, which is the port that will need to be opened within your router. Please refer to your IT department or network administrator to set this up for you regarding port forwarding. If you're unable to do this yourself, you may contact your internet service provider on how to set this up. If your network is only internal and has no one accessing from outside your local network, make sure you know what your local network is set up on. You can see this from Flexi Server Options, Web Access, under the Local Network row. Generally, it should begin with either 192, 172, or 10. If this information does not display, on your Windows 10 machine, right-click the bottom left Windows icon and select Windows PowerShell. This should open a blue window console. Then type ipconfig in the console and press enter. This should display what your local network is set up on, which will display under IPv4 address. You can enter that address in the FlexiServer local network setup by selecting Advanced Routing, Local Access, Mode. For more information on the tools in FlexiServer, click on the help link in the right column or in the upper right corner of your browser window. Now install FlexiStation in your computer. Click the download FlexiStation for employees link in the right hand column. Run the installer. The optional programs are useful for productivity but not required. Click skip all if you do not want to try them. Enter your email address and password in the Logon Details dialog that opens after installation. Enter the server details, your email address and password that you entered for your main administrator. These details can be changed later within the app from the Options dialog on the Server tab. The status area of FlexiStation and FlexiServer will display Connected OK if everything is working properly. If there are any connection errors, they will display in red. FlexiServer should always be running to receive data from your staff and for FlexiStation to run without connection errors for your employees. If FlexiServer is closed for any reason, the data from FlexiStation will upload when FlexiServer is reopened. You are now ready to run FlexiServer and FlexiStation in your company. You will enjoy how easy it is to run payroll reports and manage your staff productivity whether they are working from home or the office. For more information on getting started with FlexiServer, visit the address shown on your screen.